Hey guys, Apple is already working on the next update to the iOS that runs on all the iPhones. Apple is said to be focusing on performance and quality in iOS 14 due to the numerous bugs in iOS 13, but there are still plenty of changes that are in the works. Early test versions of the software have already leaked, giving us some idea of what to expect from the update. There are still hidden features and functions that we don't know about as iOS updates include often hundreds of tweaks and new features but some key features have been unveiled. So here's a list of all the iPhones that are eligible for the iOS 14 update plus some interesting features that we'll get to enjoy in iOS 14. So guys I am Raj and now let's get in. According to the sources, iOS 14 will be compatible with the same list of iPhones as iOS 13. That means all the iPhones which were able to run iOS 13 will be able to run iOS 14. So if that's true, here's a list of iOS 13 compatible iPhones which according to the leak are also compatible with iOS 14. This list includes iPod Touch 7th generation, iPhone 6s and iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone SE 1st generation, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10S, iPhone 10S Max, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone SE second generation. Apple Hub, which is also a trusted source for Apple leaks, also confirms the same. Now before moving to the upcoming iOS 14 features and changes, guys I cover all the iPhone 12 related stuff plus all the iOS and app videos for iPhones daily on this channel and I really don't want you to miss any of it so just press that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon cause it's really easy and it's free and it will also help the channel a lot and it just takes a single tap on that subscribe button from your side. Now here's a list of new and exciting features that are coming to the iOS 14. Apple's web browser Safari could come with a built-in translation feature that would enable users to translate web pages without using a third-party service, similar to what we get in Chrome browser. Next feature is related to iMessages app. Apple is set to bring a host of updates to its iMessages app. The app is expected to get a mentions feature that will enable users to tag a contact in group chat. Besides this, the app is expected to get a functionality that will allow users to retract an app. Additionally, the app is also expected to get typing indicators in group chats and a mark as unread option that will enable users to remember it long after they have read a message. iOS 14 is likely to come with a new home screen that will show all the apps available on the iPhone in a list format. It is possible that Apple will include filters that would enable users to segregate apps based on criteria such as the apps with unread messages or recently used apps. iOS 14 is also said to include a functionality that will allow users to set third-party apps as default on their iPhones. For example, the functionality could allow users to set Gmail as their default mailing app instead of iMail. Apple is set to roll out its next generation of mobile operating system iOS 14 in fall of this year. However, we'll catch first glimpse of the OS at Apple's annual developers conference WWDC 2020 which will be held between June 22nd and June 26th. The actual rollout is expected to start around September 2020. With that, we're at the end of this video. So guys, if you found this video helpful, then like the video. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. If you have any questions regarding this topic, then feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as you leave and also press that bell icon so that I can give you all the future updates related to iOS 14. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.